welcome back in this video i will discuss histogram equalization with the help of simple solid example in the previous video i have solved one example link for that video is given in the description below this is a input image on this we will perform the histogram equalization before we proceed first we know what is a histogram equalization a histogram equalization is an image processing technique that adjusts the pixel values of an image to enhance its contrast and visibility in the histogram equalization mainly two types are there that is global histogram equalization and local histogram equalization in a global histogram equalization it enhances the contrast of the entire image but in the local histogram equalization it enhances the details in an image by applying different transformations to the same gray level at different locations in the image in the given image the maximum value is found to be a 5 in the binary form the 5 can be represented as 101 so we need minimum of 3 bits to represent the number whenever we use the 3 bits we get 8 possible gray level from 0 to 7 that is 000 to 111 the histogram of the input image is given below here it is given number of pixels for the gray level 0 is 0 because in the given input image we don't have zero number similarly for the gray level 1 also 0 and for the 2 also 0 because we don't have 1 and 2 number in the given input image and for the gray level 3 we have six number of pixels because in the given input we have six trees here it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and for the gray level 4 we have 14 number of pixels it means we have 14 4 in the given input images here we have this is 4 4 4 4 and this row is 4 and similarly for the 5 we have five number of pixels and for the 6 and 7 we don't have number of pixels in the first step we need to compute the running sum of the histogram values also known as a cumulative frequency distribution to find the running sum the first running sum for the gray level 0 is 0 and for the number of the pixel for the gray level 1 which is added with the previous running sum that is 0 so 0 plus 0 which is 0 and for the gray level 2 number of pixels are 0 and the previous running sum is 0 so 0 plus 0 which is 0 and for the gray level 3 number of pixels are 6 and the previous running sum is 0 so 0 plus 6 which is 6 and for the gray level 4 number of pixels are 14 previous running sum is 6 so 6 plus 14 which is equal to 20 similarly we will calculate the remaining values for the gray level 5 6 and 7 in the next step we will divide the running sum obtained in the first step by the total number of pixels the given input is a 5 by 5 matrix so the total number of pixels is 25 so we will divide the running sum by 25 that is given here that is 0 divided by 25 0 divided by 25 0 divided by 25 Six divided by twenty-five. Twenty divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Once you find the running sum divided by total number of pixels, the next step is multiply the running sum divided by total number of pixels with the maximum 
gray level value that is 7 in this case which is shown here that is 0 divided by 25 into 7 0 divided by 25 into 7 and so on and whatever the result we will get we will round it into a closest integer for the gray level 0 1 2 3 we will get 0 for the gray level 3 we will get 6 into 7 divided by 25 which is equal to 1.68 so the closest integer will be 2 similarly we will find the remaining values in the next step we will do the mapping of gray level by 1 to 1 corresponds that is 0 is mapped to 0 1 is mapped to 0 2 is mapped to 0 3 is mapped to 2 4 is mapped to 6 5 is mapped to 7 6 is mapped to 7 7 is mapped to 7 in the simple way in the given input whenever we have 3 we will replace 3 by 2 and whenever we have 4 we will replace 4 by 6 and whenever we have 5 we will replace by 7 here we can see in the input image we have 3 which is replaced by 2 in the histogram equalization here we can see this one and in the input image for the 4 we will replace with 6 in the histogram equalization and similarly for the 5 we will replace 5 with 7 we can see here this is how we can perform the histogram equalization for the given input image i hope the concept of histogram equalization is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the bell icon for regular updates press the subscribe button for more videos thank you for watching